I gave a talk uh, today on the Schalke project, uh, which is a project about the viral cause of MS and using antiviral agents to treat MS. The reason why it's called the Schalke project, because the great French neurologist Schalke was the first person to speculate that multiple sclerosis, which he described, may be caused by a virus. The two big viruses uh, that underlie the cause of MS, I think, are Epstein-Barr virus, uh, the virus that causes infectious mononucleosis, and a virus that lives within our own genomes called human endogenous retroviruses. And these two viruses are closely linked to each other because the virus EBV that causes infectious mononucleosis activates endogenous retroviruses that we think may drive the damaging MS. Um, the, the reason why we think it's the cause is because people who don't get infected with Epstein-Barr virus don't get multiple sclerosis. They're protected from the disease, and that underlies the treatment or the prevention principle that if we can prevent people getting Epstein-Barr virus in the first place with a vaccine, we may be able to prevent MS. Now, how Epstein-Barr virus triggers all the process in MS, we don't know. But that's no reason why we shouldn't study the virus, because there are ways of inhibiting the virus or killing the, the cell that the virus lives in, which is the B cell. Uh, and those are very effective treatments in multiple sclerosis. So um, I, I reviewed all that evidence. Um, the other evidence I also reviewed was, strangely enough, people who are infected with the uh, AIDS virus, HIV, are protected from getting MS. And we're not sure why. We don't think it's the virus itself, but maybe the antiretrovirals they get. So another treatment strategy is to try and test whether or not antiretroviral drugs used in the HIV field uh, could modify the course of MS. So that's another strategy we're looking at. So uh, I'm one of those people in the camp that thinks multiple sclerosis is caused by a virus, and we need to take that hypothesis very seriously because the treatment strategies and the prevention strategies behind that uh, are completely different to what our current approach is to multiple sclerosis.